They call her the Turtle Lady. She started the big turtle cause that we've had here. And all in all, it has not helped the turtles too much. I found out there's still only about 5 to 10 percent survival rate on these little turtles out there. And at the same time, it's cut our tourism industry down quite a bit here in town. But well, one day, I had myself a vision, a solution to the turtle problems that we've been having on our beaches here. It's a satirical song. It's, it's all in bad taste. But this is a solution to all the turtle problems that we have in Volusia County on our beaches. They don't know that it's good to eat turtle soup. So I thought I'd lend a helping hand. I opened up my own soup stand. And down on the beach, I didn't tell them it was turtle soup. I called it my Daytona stew. I sold it for a buck or two. They all lined up if they only knew it was turtle soup. Soup, it'll throw the whole town for a loop When the mayor finds out he's gonna poop Turtle soup They came in his stories for the press They told a stew was a big success I never did confess It was turtle soup Riley made the Fox News show This time the world should know I stood up to Bill O'Reilly I was making turtle soup And I punched that jerk right in the nose Turtle soup, turtle soup, it'll put the whole town for a loop. When the mayor finds out, he's gonna poop. Turtle soup. Now you ain't gonna believe this. You ain't gonna believe this, good It was decided for me a couple years ago. It's gonna be up to me to turn this around here in town. Bringing it back to the people. That's why you're going to find my name on the mayoral ballot in Daytona Beach come 2011. Flanders for mayor. I'm going to open up driving on the beach from one end to the other. Some places at night, I'm going to get the open container laws back on the beach again. And to work those little turtles, I'm going to open up a hatchery and get their eggs and hatch them out right so we can have a better success rate than they have right now. We're going to get everybody happy. And then we're going to have a few left over. We can have a big turtle fest and actually cook a big, big cauldron full of stew. Everybody asks me, what's in your turtle soup? Well, there's, well, there's potatoes and carrots and oysters and crawdads and celery. And then there's that one special ingredient, that delectably delightful sweet treat of a meat. That I put my Daytona stew. I'm gonna let you know what it is right here. It's what the name of the song is. Tell them the name of the song. It's a little something like this. It's Turtle. 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 It's Turtle Soup. So I got my plan of attack. Good people, just remember this Flanders for Mayor 2011. This is how the story winds up here. We get the turtles, get them bread, send them all over till everyone's fed. I'm surprised they wound up dead over turtle soup. At least not yet, anyway. I'm always looking for snipers. And the government. Members of PETA. You heard of them? I call them people eating tasty animals. Turtle soup, turtle soup, it'll throw the whole town for a loop. When the mayor finds out, he's going to poop. Turtle soup, one more time for these good people on the river today. Turtle soup, turtle soup, it'll throw the whole town for a loop. When the mayor finds out, he's going to poop. Turtle soup. When Glenn Ritchie finds out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 
It's all because of those turtles. Good people, you can catch them fresh off your Volusia County beaches. You can eat it with your grilled cheese sandwiches. You can eat it with your manatee bone steaks. It's turtle soup. Some homegrown good folks. It's all that bad taste. I really do love the turtles. It's just a shame that they just keep doing all this and takes away our tourism and then it really doesn't save too many of them. Every year a big storm comes through and Mother Nature wipes them all out anyway. So.